Nah, it ain't gonna happen like that. Snake, snake, snake. Now I don't know what they're gonna do. Woohoo! Hey guys, today we're checking out Escape from New York from 1981. Let's get to it. Okay, we're watching Escape from New York. My dad just told me this past weekend that this is one of his favorite movies. And he talked to me about it out of nowhere. I didn't mention it, so I think it's cool that I'm watching it this week. He said this was all the rage in the 80s and everybody wanted to be whoever Kurt Russell is. John Carpenter's Escape from New York. I've seen The Thing and I've seen Halloween on this channel. Both were very, very scary, especially Halloween. John Carpenter scares me, he gets me. Starring Kurt Russell. Yes, check out my Kurt Russell movies if you miss them. I've done quite a few. Love Kurt Russell. And I know that John Carpenter scored or co-scored this movie. I can hear the synth. All right, so shout out to my dad. I'm watching the movie. I'm excited to see. Music by John Carpenter, so we know it will be a little spooky. A little kooky and unsettling, maybe. All right, 1988. The crime rate in the United States rises 400 Whoa. New York becomes the one maximum security prison for the entire country. It's a prison. The Deadwood containment wall is erected along the New Jersey shoreline. Oh, it's a prison. There are no guards inside the prison, only prisoners and the worlds they have made. What? No guards in there? They just throw all the prisoners in there? Once you go in, you don't come out. No rules. Well, it must be chaos in there. All right, in the far future, 1997 now okay so it's been almost 10 years since they made this prison on manhattan island that's a cool idea nice so i wonder like are they allowed to kill each other in there or that there's no rules it sounds like it's just that you can't come out maximum security penitentiary manhattan island wow what a crazy idea i'm very curious to see like where, how do they know where, are there gangs in there probably are they trying to escape Mm-hmm. I think they're trying to escape. You have 10 seconds. Turn around. Start back to the island. They're gonna shoot him. They just bombed them. Is there any power in the city? The Statue of Liberty in there is ironic. Mid Harbor, south of the battery, two in the water, dead. Very well. Air traffic, this is Remy. Liberty Island security control. Jeez. I don't even know. Is Kurt Russell a security guy or is he a prisoner? We will see. Ooh, there he is. Eye patch and all. Prisoner. Escape from New York. I believe he will. He's so the young. scheduled departure to the prison is in two hours. You now have the option to terminate and be cremated on the premises. You can choose to be terminated instead of going? It must be bad. I believe there's a sequel to this too. Escape from LA to LA? Something like that. Is it still Kurt Russell and John Carpenter? Is it any good? Let me know. We got a small jet in trouble over restricted airspace. Where is it? Seven miles out, closing. Delay all your imperialist weapons in line. Can't save it now. We're going down. We're going to crash. Is it like, like a hijack? Aircraft ident. Cool, David 14. Air Force One, like the president. Speaking of which, should I watch Air Force One? We, the soldiers of the National Liberation Front of America have struck a fatal blow to the racist police state. Wow. Unlock the pod. She's bolted the door. Is that the president? Shoot off the lock. No, sir. She's pressurized the cabin. How about lifting the door off of the hinges? No, sir. Are those the nuclear codes? Get me to the pod. Don't they have like an escape pod or something? President of the United States. Yeah, yeah, is this an escape pod? This is a locating device to trace you if you become separated from the pod. I'm activating it now. Oh boy. Got that president involved. Oh boy. Just by himself? That seems and risky. Watch over you all. I mean, does it drop him right into New, New York though? Computer simulation. Tracking Air Force One. It's <gasps> down. It's the escape pod. Did the plane crash? The arts from impact. I'm going in. So the, he did eject right into New York. Of all the places in the whole United States to eject into, they gotta retrieve the pod before the prisoners do. Dun 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 dun. Very unsettling. Is that the plane or the pod? And now Kurt Russell is the president. Oh, it's just chaos. 
It's probably so dangerous in there. The prisoners, I'm sure, like, have fashioned weapons and have, like, traps and hideouts. Oh, boy, yeah, this is not safe for these guys. I need to know more about Kurt Russell. Did he commit a real crime or is he being framed? Why is he in prison? Why is he going there? Uh-oh. Maybe he's been taken hostage, though. <laughs> Freaky. Just a laugh in the distance. Oh, boy. Are there any kids there, I wonder? You touch me, he dies. If you're not in the air in 30 seconds, he dies. If you come back in, he dies. Oh. Hostage. <gasps> he took his finger. I'm ready to talk. Oh, that proves it's him for sure. The ring and everything. What do you want? 17. 16. Let's go. Let's go. What do they want? Well, they want out. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And they've been there 10 years, some of them, right? I bet they're all a little nuts. <laughs> Just feral. Yes, he's right here, Mr. Vice President. Who is now the president, right? This is Bob Ho. We can. If we move in with choppers, they'll kill him. We're lucky if he's not dead already. Yeah, they gotta be sneaky. We can't wait till tomorrow if we have to move in and take the island. It's a last resort. But I want permission to try a rescue. He's dangerous, sir. I know. I'll be okay. Oh. Has he gone in yet? I'm not a fool, Pliskin. Call me Snake. Snake? S.D. Pliskin, American, Lieutenant, Special Forces Unit, Black Light, Two Purple Hearts, Leningrad and Siberia. So what's he this man to be decorated by the President. He robbed the Federal Reserve Depository. Life sentence. Ah, oh, bank robber. I'm ready to kick your ass out of the world, war hero. Doesn't care. Who are you? Hauk, police commissioner. Why are we talking? I have a deal for you. You receive full pardon for every criminal action you've committed in the United States. If... You can deliver the president. About an hour ago, a small jet went down inside New York City. The president was on board. The president of what? That's not funny, Pliskin. <laughs> yeah, I liked it. Find the president, bring him out in 24 hours, and you're a free man. Straight, just like I said. Making him an offer he can't refuse. Give me an answer. Get a new president. We're still at war, Pliskin. We need him alive. I don't give a f about your war. No, I don't believe he does. Is that your answer? I'm thinking about it. Think hard. Full pardon, man. Although I don't know if I believe them, but... Why me? You flew the Gulf Fire over Leningrad. You know how to get in quiet. You're all I've got. I guess I go in one way or the other. You give me the paper. When you come out, I told you I wasn't a fool, Bliskin. Call me Snake. Snake Bliskin. Some of them have cars. They yeah. took old junkers that were left behind, converted them to steam and power. They had greenhouses, rigged up generators. Mm. The crazies, they live in the subways. Tracy, sends a radio signal for 15 minutes. If you push it, we can track you on radar. Where am I landing? Top of the World Trade Center, only place you can land. Oh, man. You can locate the president by his vital signs bracelet on his wrist. Right. Sends up a sync pulse. Use this homing device. Shows direction and distance. I like his swagger. He's like, uh-huh. Strong antitoxin stops bacteria and viral growth for 24 hours. Take off your jacket. I don't like needles. Me neither. He's pretty jacked up. 22 hours, 59 minutes, 57 seconds. We talked about 24. In 22 hours, the Hartford Summit meeting will be over. He has a briefcase attached to his wrist. Yeah, what is it? The tape recording inside has to reach Hartford in 22 hours. What's on it? Do you know anything about nuclear fusion? Nuclear! I'm going to inject you. It'll sting for a second or two. In the neck? Oh, God. It'll sting, yeah. That's it, Pliskin. 22 hours, we have a countdown. Tell him. Tell me what? Yeah, tell him what? That idea you had about turning the Gulf Fire around 180 degrees and flying off to Canada. Two microscopic capsules lodged in your arteries. They're already starting to dissolve. In 22 hours, the cores will completely dissolve. Inside the cores are a heat-sensing charge. Not a large explosive, about the size of a pinhead. Just big enough to open up both your arteries. They put a little explosive inside them? Come out now. They're protected by the cores. 15 minutes before the last hour's up, we can neutralize the charge with x-rays. Wow, well, he will come back then, I guess. When I get back, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. The Gulf Fire's waiting. I wonder if it will kill him. That reminds me a little bit of Mission Impossible. I forget which one, where they put the explosive inside their heads. They're probably right. He probably would have just, like, tried to hijack the plane and fly off to freedom. Yeah. Oh, it's not even hijacked. They're just giving him his own little plane. Okay, yeah, he definitely would have tried to fly off. <laughs> no smoking in the plane. Wonder if we ever find out why he's wearing an eye patch. And remember, once you're inside, you're on your own. Oh, you mean I can't count on you? No. Good. No. <laughs> What's Kurt Russell's most, like, beloved role, I wonder? My dad says this is a pretty iconic character. Racer test confirmed at 20 hours, 17 minutes, 37. 20 hours. This music, it's very Carpenter. Very unsettling. All right, so we're going to the World yeah, Trade Center's the crazy. Right on course. Been a while. 
Nice smooth landing, man. Coming in a little hot. Oof. Pump the brakes. Yeah, flaps. Oh, we might go right over the edge. Oh, dude. Let's go. He's just not gonna respond. He's not so much a team player, you know? Although, I mean, they were arresting him. Look at these pants. Inside the World Trade Center on the 50th floor, just like letting her head out. Call me when you get outside. Oh, that was freaky. Okay, there's people in there. I was just wondering if he's alone in there. Oh boy. He's not safe. These synths. Turn on the homing device so we can find out where the president is. I have chills from this synth. So spooky. Is that the plane? Oh, there's just people running all over in the background. He's not even scared. I'm at the plane. Nobody else made it out. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Homie. I've got his pulse. He's alive. Well, theoretically. Right ahead, moving northwest. Like, could they have just put the bracelet on somebody else who has a pulse? Possibly. For now, it seems as though the president is alive. Oh, just that constant synth. Musical review. It's kind of reminding me a little bit of Demolition Man too, where he sees like the old city. Oh jeez, oh jeez. I just assume everyone's dangerous, aren't they? Is the theater working? Is that a dead body? He does look pretty bad though, just stepping out of the fog with the eye patch and the muscles and the gun. Oh jeez. Just a little musical theater. A musical theater is alive and well. And this guy loves it. Was that guy in the Poseidon Adventure? He looks familiar. Bum, 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 bum. Does that just say colon on the wall? Probably colony. Hey! hey you Snake Plissken, ain't you? How's he know? What do you want? Is he famous? I thought you were dead. You don't want to walk around down there, Snake. Everybody knows Snake Plissken. All right, I need a cool 80s sci-fi nickname like Snake. Like Viper, how about? Oh, God. Nobody seems to care that he's there. Hi, Chief. Nice night. Nice boots. Hey. Oh! Oh, okay. He's bad. He's a bad. I'm walking. I'm walking. Is that him? That's the president? Yeah, yeah. Just continually punching him. You missing your finger? Mr. President. I'm the president. Uh oh. Sure, I'm the president. He is wearing it. Oh, no. Where's the real president? Did you get it? We woke up and there it was. It's like a miracle. <laughs> Not even him. He could be dead. It's not the president. To the <laughs> Just some crazy mofo. Hey, I'm coming out. 18 hours, Pliskin. If you get back in that glider, I'll shoot you down. Do you understand that, Pliskin? It's the only way to stay alive is to find the president. Well, it's got to at least bring his body, I guess. Maybe he's still alive. Where would you even start to look? Man, this is like apocalypse type movie before before they were a thing. Maybe there's a clue. Oh, jeez. Is it like a signal? Wants him to follow him, maybe? Oh, man. Oh, this music! And he's definitely outnumbered. Oh, crap. Chock full of nuts. I don't think he's safe anywhere. Oh, the rats, the rats, the rats, the rats. Oh. From the shadows, probably. You a cop? Yeah. A lady. Hey, this is a real one. You just get in? What's going on out there? Crazies. End of the month, they're out of food. From the sewers. Plane crashed seven hours ago near 8th Avenue. Did you see it? No. I don't know if we could trust her. Wait a minute. She know him? I know who you are. Wow, Snake Plissken, all right. What you doing in here with a gun, Snake? Looking for somebody. Who? The president. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. When you find him, you're gonna take him out? Mm-hmm. Or kill him. Take me out with you, Snake. Why? I can think of lots of reasons why. Oh, I thought she got shot or something. Oh my god! They just like swallowed her up from the floor! 
Well, that's terrifying. Just grabby hands from below. No, no, no. He's in big trouble. So she just, just have to find somewhere to hide till daylight? It won't matter, man. There's millions of them. This music. So intense. And he's a good fighter, but like he's just, uh, there's, he's way outnumbered. <gasps> oh, crap. Is that the, like the walkie talkie? Okay, what are you gonna do, man? Are we ever gonna see that girl again? Is that it for her? Just swallowed up into the floor. Oh, they do have cars. Where are you going, he's buddy? A Get in. At least he's nice. Get in. I've been driving a cabbie for 30 years, and I'm telling you, you don't go around here at night. Yes, sir. He'll kill you, strip you, and then. Does he have a Molotov cocktail right now? I wanted to catch that show. This stuff is like gold around here, you know. It's like gold. <gasps> All right. Bad. Cabby. What were you doing back there, Snake? Looking for somebody. Well, why didn't you ask me? I know everybody in this town. Been driving this cab for 30 years. Gonna 30 years? So is he in because he's in prison, or did you just stay in the city that he was already in? Now where's the president? Uh, the Duke got him. Everybody knows the Duke's got him. Day number one, the big man, that's who. The Duke. Oh. I want to meet this Duke. You can't meet the Duke. Are you crazy? Nobody sees the Duke. You meet him once, and then you're dead. I don't think this guy's a prisoner. I think he just lived in New York and then it became a prison and he just stayed and kept driving a cab. All right, the Duke. Sounds like a good enemy. I hate to leave her on the street. Usually I don't leave her alone at all. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna get stolen or vandalized, obviously. But you're a special case, Snake. Why is Snake so famous? Bum, 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 bum. It's okay, Snake. It's a better neighborhood. You can relax. 17 hours. Oh, Till his head explodes. Who is it? Cabby! If somebody wants to see Brain, it's important. No way, Cabby! You know it's Snake! Snake Bliskin! Oh, well in that case, the famous Snake Bliskin. Oh, sexy lady. Your Bliskin? He wants to see Brain. Why? He's so brooding. I want to meet the Duke. Oh, that Brain, he's the greatest. <laughs> Mr. Fabulous! Duke loves him. Who's that? That's Maggie. Brain Squeeze. Brain Squeeze! Heard you were dead. Everyone thinks he's dead. Brain, I brought somebody to see you. All right, who is this Brain? Let's see. Harold Hellman. Knows him. Snake, how you been, Harold? Harold. You never told me you knew Snake Pliskin, Brain. Isn't that great? Hey, Brain, I can do some gas and we can spare some. So he just lives in the library and reads and he's called Brain? That's cool. Kansas City, four years ago. Do you they have beef? On me. Ooh. You left me sitting there. You were late. We were buddies, Harold. You, me, and Fresno Bob. You know what they did to Bob? You want to see him sprayed all over that map, baby? Where's the president? I swear to God, Snake, I don't know. Just in the background, like a like an oil friggin' rig. We got a deal somewhere else. We've got the president, and the Duke's taking everybody out of here. Never happened, baby. You see, I know something you and the Duke don't know. Only got so long before Mr. President doesn't mean a whole lot. Yeah, they get a new president. I know him. Look at his face. He's lying. Right, Harold. I'm lying. Rain, talk to him, baby. Rain, you'll kill us both of you. You got to tell him. Where's the Duke? Where's the president? You always were smart, Harold. Just one thing right now. Don't call me Harold. His name is Brain. That's a good nickname. That's the Duke. I know the sound of his engines. Don't cross the Duke. Don't cross the Duke. Incoming Duke. Cabby, you slime. Oh, Come on. Look at this. Chandeliers. Oh my God, it's like a pimp mobile. Oh my God. This is the Duke. The chandeliers are amazing. <laughs> Is that him, the Duke? He's looking for you, Brain. What's my diagram of the bridge? When he finds out I'm with you, he's gonna want my life. He's gotta get to the president now while he's busy. Forget it, he's on the other side of town and we got no wheels. Oh, we got wheels. Gonna steal these wheels? Lock him on the head. Oh, he did! Ooh, such an eerie sound. Uh, yes. Nice. Thought they would just take the cab, but okay, even better. I think they saw us. Turn left. Turn left here. Dun 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 dun. Oh my god, that kind of looks like the the Griswolds. The Griswold family, family whatever, family wagon, something like that. Come on, right. 
Oh, they got like spikes on the side. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Aggie! Oh no! Is it bars on the window? Well, they're not just gonna drive back through that, are they? Hold on. Through the garbage! Oh boy. Oh. To the Duke. He's in the third car from the end by the last campfire. Love this trump pad. It's all right, he's gonna go in the front way. It'll take him five minutes. It's got so many countdowns. Yeah, a train, a train. I was wondering if he said the third car from the end or something. It's on a train. Oh, very cool. Hi, guys. Duke told us to wait inside. He's on his way here now. He didn't say nothing else about him. That brain is a real pain. Is that what the president? He's alive. Oh, oh! In the head! Just sniped him. All right, buddy, we gotcha. Who are you? Talks at me and we got him over there. Snick Blisky, the coolest eye patch in all the land. Go, go, go. Well, it's not gonna be that easy. Now to escape from New York. <laughs> oh! Woo! The sound! Friend of yours, Brain? He had a gun on me, Duke. There was nothing I could do. I hope they don't kill Brain. Uh, yo! Yeah, we're in trouble. If I was them, I would just leave right now. Although, I mean, what can they go back to the library? These guys know where they live, so. All right, this is the Duke. Who are you? I'm Snake Bliskin. Ooh. I said, who are you? Snake Bliskin, Duke. The man sent him in here. Something's going down. We need him. Have you heard of him? It's working for the man. You won't like that. Snake Bliskin. Mm hmm. I've heard of you. Damn, in the head? Jeez. I heard you were dead. Well, he ain't. I wonder what the guys on the outside are saying. They haven't heard anything, right? Negative on infrared body scan. No movement in the searchlights. Nothing strange going on down there. 12 hours left. Oh boy. We've got to go in now. We hold. You're countermanding my orders, huh? This is my prison. I'll give the orders. Does he believe in Snake? All right, it's down. Do they even care if they kill him? He has a snake tattoo. Don't move, snake. That makes sense. I want that diagram, Brain. Yeah, it's at my place, Duke. That Pliskin said something about a time limit. What time limit? 12 hours or less now. What did I teach you? You are Duke of New, New York. You're a uh, hey number one. I can't hear you. Man. Give me the diagram. Don't kill Pliskin. We need him. Get moving, Brain. <laughs> oh, there's the guy with the crazy laugh. Oh no, the nuclear stuff! Uh oh. That's probably important. What are they doing? Sending, sending guys in? Why are these guys waving them down? Oof. Ah, the briefcase. I still can't figure out whether that Liskin was telling the truth or not. God, I hate that guy. He got in somehow. He's got to land a glider and take off. He can't do it in Central Park unless it was some someplace high up. Is he going to go look for the glider? World Trade Center. That's it. That's going to be a hell of a lot easier for me to take off than it was for him to land. Oh, frig. Amnesty for all prisoners in New York City in exchange for president. Oh, that makes sense. Where's the tape? Not here. They're Pliskins. So much for your man, help. Now they're gonna think, I mean, they ha they do have him captured. Warm up the choppers, we're moving in. I wonder how much they would negotiate for the president. I don't think they would give amnesty to every prisoner. Pliskin. Is that one hour, 56 minutes? What? Come on, get up. Better think of something. Come on, snake. Ugh. Why do I feel like they're gonna make him like fight to his death? Is that a fight ring? Oh no. Oh crap. Maybe they are gonna make him fight to his death. Oh. Who is it? Oh god. Oh my god. What a beefcake. Okay. Whoa. The eyebrows, the beard. That is a look. Yeah. But I feel like Snake is a good fighter. Who is giant? That's like a collar around his neck. Is he like a prisoner fighter gladiator guy thing? Alright, Snake. Make quick work of this beefcake. 
begin. They sit in their best man. And when we roll down the 69th Street Bridge tomorrow on our way to freedom, we're going to have their best man leading the way from the neck up. Justice Ed. Nah, it ain't going to happen like that. Hood of my car! Mm-mm. That's what you think. He's ready. Use his strength against him. These guys are just going to steal the glider. Where'd you get the hat? Got it from Cabin. Did he kill him? You gotta see the president. Why? He's got something hidden in his clothing and the Duke wants it. What? Cyanide capsules. The Duke don't want a dead president. What does he want the president for? Maybe he wants to take the president and go in the glider. Mr. President? <laughs> Cyanide. You might try to take it tomorrow. You're not supposed to be in here, brain. Oh, stuck him. Yeah, they're taking the president. All right, come on, snake, let's go. He's got the thingy. Ah. Ugh, I don't want to see, like, hunks of flesh come off or anything like that. Mm -mm. If I was the president, I would just go with these guys. Because they're, like, they seem like the most normal in here so far. Come on, stick him! Stop hitting his shield! Hit him in the face! Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh! Snake! 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 Now take his bracelet! Tracer activated at... Power! Snake! 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 I like that Coca-Cola placement. Not much time, buddy. Get over there. Is going down. Bastard! The president's gone! Brain took him! Oh, Brain is in trouble. If he doesn't get to that glider, he's gonna get killed. Unless Snake saves him. Yeah, tell him. Tell him about the bracelet. Out! Please get paid, sir! Get on the radio! Keep him down! Nobody move! I knew that son of a was alive. I knew that son of a was alive. Less than an hour. Oh, boy. How's he gonna get out? Going back down? I guess. What else can they do? Listen, Snake, I swear to God, I thought you were dead. Yeah, you and everybody else. That's your car now, Abby. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, you didn't think he was dead. He's a liar. You shouldn't have double-crossed me again, Brain. Agreed. The tape? Gone. I, I don't know where. I do. In that dude's pocket. I swear to God, Snake, I know where it is. Just take us to the car. I'll take you right to it. They have to go back now? I don't know about this brain. He, he did double cross him. Keeps double crossing him. We can't trust him, I don't think. He's looking out for number one and for the girl, maybe. Oh! Crossbow. Drive trouble? Cool entrance. Hi, Duke. Oh, he's gonna try to talk his way out of it now. This whole deal of yours is over, Snake. When brain just say goodbye to each other. Did he get him? Oh, no. Oh, boy. Cabby? Woohoo! Go, go! Hope that cabbie doesn't die. Where's the tape, Brain? Tape. Huh? What tape? Where is it? Yeah, tape from the briefcase. Oh, that tape. Here it is. You, you, you traded Romero your hat. How'd you know? <laughs> see, see. All right, what is it? Let me hear it. Discovery the tritium creates only one one millionth of the biological. Here, give me that tape. Boring. <laughs> just, yeah. 23 minutes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. How? Are they gonna get out of New York though? They can't fly. I really thought they were just gonna have to get back to the glider. Now I don't know what they're gonna do. Oh, chandeliers. It's so sweet. I like it. Very fancy. Easy. Easy. Go for it, Snake. Do it. Floor it. Punch it. Whoa, got some air there. I like it. This is tense. I mean, so far, none of these guys on the good guy side here, even Brain, I'm kind of counting as a good guy. None of them have died yet, so I feel like one of them's gonna die at least. <laughs> that bit mobile. Yes. Was this a big hit when it came out? Was it like all the rage? Everybody had to go see it in the theater? You think? They're just taking the bridge. They're just dodging the mines, and this guy doesn't have the map, so he's gonna blow up. Stay left, stay left, and then jog right when I tell you. You're pushing it too hard, Snake. Okay, now! Oh, no! Blew them in half! Well, so much for your map, dude. Did they die? Did any of them die? They're alive! Okay, all right. I said jog right! Idiot! Oh, is he dead? I knew it. Now hold it! Left! <laughs> Left! Oh! 
Oh, shoot! I don't think that guy knows how to read that map. Is he dead? Rain. Oh, yeah, no, he's dead. Keep moving. He's dead. No Come time, on. Maggie. Gotta go. She doesn't want to go. Is that to... Maybe she could shoot the duke. Yes. Wait till they're closer. How are they getting through all the mines? I guess maybe they already blew them all up, right? Okay. Oh man, she got bloody. Woo! Station 19. They spotted two cars on the 69th Street Bridge. 14 minutes. Get a jeep with a winch over there fast. Cronenberg. Oh my god, that thing. Huh. Are they really gonna give Kurt Russell a full pardon? I don't know. I mean, I guess the president would, right? He saved him. Up and over. All right, showdown. Snake versus the Duke. One minute, 32 seconds until the thing goes off. Oh no. Got him from behind. Snake, 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 come on. Oh boy. Who was it? Is it the president? Who stopped that? <gasps> yeah, that one. Uh -huh. All right, got his revenge. Duke is dead. He just wanted to be the one to kill him. I respect that, Mr. Prez. All right, now deactivate that freaking thing in his neck. You have like, uh, like 30 seconds left. Yeah, power up the x-ray or whatever it is. The tape is oh, does he have it? Is that it? Well, I hope so. And then his head just explodes. Jeez. Radio to head, Mr. President. They know the situation. They're uh, waiting for your broadcast. Just shaving. Most importantly, let's get him a fresh shave. Hold it. Thing. Oh, it's all right. I, uh, I want to thank you. Full pardon. A lot of people died in the process. I just wondered how you felt about it. Well, I... <clears throat> I want to thank them. Uh, this nation appreciates their sacrifice. Very sincere. I mean, he gets his pardon though, right? You gonna kill me now, Snake? I'm too tired. <laughs> it's been a long day. I've got another deal for you. I want you to think it over while you're resting. I want to give you a job. We'd make one hell of a team, Snake. He'll never do it. The name's Pliskin. Good evening. I present this in the hope that our great nations may learn to live in peace. Is it the right tape? How embarrassing. Does he have the real tape? Shredding it. Still a rebel. The end. Still a rebel. Okay guys, well that was Escape from New York and that was a good one. I can see how it's like an 80s classic, a John Carpenter classic, a Kurt Russell classic. I can really see how it might have influenced future movies about like apocalypses, even like monster movies, city destruction, mayhem wise, even like zombie movies maybe where cities are overgrown and everything's on fire and it's all chaos. And I really noticed the score, so many synths, so many drum pads, I loved it, it's very John Carpenter reminded me a little bit of Halloween, like musically. Very, very creepy and unsettling. I really liked Kurt Russell. I liked how at the end he did the old switcheroo with the tape. He completed the mission, but in the end he still pulled a fast one on them and didn't quite play by the rules. He's still a rebel and I, I like that. I wonder what Kurt Russell is known for. Like what's his most iconic role? I could totally see a role like this being one of his most iconic. Snake Pliskin. I get it. I also like how really nobody made it out in the end which you know it's not great but i it's very you know nihilistic and the theme sort of matched kurt russell's character he wasn't there to make friends i don't think he's a super friendly dude i mean if he'd come out of it and been like buddy buddy with his crew and like let's go get a beer now like that's not the character it wouldn't have made any sense so he emerged from that only him everybody else died well and the president so mission completed because that's what he had to do to get rid of those things in his neck he got that done to save himself switch rude the tape 
shapes and I like it. I like a rebel Kurt Russell. Let me know if there are more Kurt Russell movies we should check out, more John Carpenter movies, more 80s movies. And what about the sequel to this one? I wonder, is it any good? Let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.